<laughs> Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 151 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. So it's finally time we've beaten the final boss. Oh, he looks to be suffering. But it's alright. Your daughter has come to save you. Even though she had lost her memories, she was always thinking of you. Even if she didn't understand the reason, she went on a journey. And overcoming the sad times, never giving up. She connected with so many people. Thanks for the review of Haro. And I am one of them. Through some coincidence, I became her apostle and her lover. And we arrived at this holy ground. I wonder if I'm getting through to him. You know, I wonder if the fuchsia of faiths is getting through to him. All of those people, all their prayers. It's going to save you from the drudge of the human tribe that enslaved you. Huh. So this polluted magic that drove his spirit insane has been cut off. At least according to Ovaro. I kind of skipped the emplacements, but hell, let's roll with it. So the only thing left to do is to break the magic stones he's been ensconced in. So with my polished techniques... Now, now he gets to fulfill the wish that his parents, that gave her their lives to protect him, held in their hearts. So he's gonna go all out here. And your daughter's doing her best for your sake. So, be saved and bring a smile to Fia's face. Alright, that was pretty good. So, we're going to protect the connections we made. In order to fulfill Fia's wish, I am here. The Apostle of the Goddess of Connections. Bam. So this is the end. Come back to us. Fia is waiting for you. Ha! Ha ha. Huh. And how good is Avaro at this? So lucky strike, it says. Well well. So, with a strike that had everybody's prayers riding on it, the Maseki breaks apart into pieces, and from the inside it starts to shatter. Alright, the magic stones are breaking, and her father's been freed. Alright. Now, now's the time for you. Be sure to deliver all of everybody's prayers to him to fix the poison in his body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> time to save you, Father. Oh, look, people praying. You can tell they're praying because their eyes are closed. So, police, everybody lend your power in order to save her father who is suffering. And Fia also 
goes to pray. <coughs> so, passing through Fia, the prayers shine as they pour into Pariah. So, this poisonous black magic that the dark refiners bound into into pariah is perfectly purified out of his body. And the purification. <laughs> Alright, Father. Accept everybody's warm feelings. So, there's a light so bright you have to shield your eyes. And without a word, he loses consciousness. So, did we do it? Yeah, I don't know. But in any case, he's not going berserk anymore. Father, come on, open your eyes. That voice, is that fear? Alright, Father, this is great. You've regained consciousness. So Fia cries as she flies into his arms. What happened? What did I... Oh great, another memory problem. Oh, thank goodness. Fia. Why are you crying? <laughs> because, because. Huh. Well, Pariah accepts her as she's, you know, crying on his chest and all. But he seems a little troubled and confused by it. So, the incidents all resolved now. So, it really is good that everything turned out alright. We were able to fulfill Thea's wish. And now the fictional god Fiusha's convoluted history as well as Avaro's parents, all the problems have been, well, the will of Avaro's parents, all the remaining problems have been solved. I remember this place. I once ruled this land. But why is this land so blasted? As I remember this land, it was proud and bountiful and overflowing with the lives of people. Her father, you don't remember. Good job being late to the party, Fia. It seems that way. I cannot recall why I am here in this place 
why my daughter is crying. Okay, Fia doesn't know all the details of what Pariah went through, but... Fia explains to Pariah as much as she knows about all oh, the course of events. Oh, I'm glad we didn't have to read through another review of all the facts. Okay, so... I was shut up inside of that taboo weapon. So, in silencing those humans who are demanding freedom, everything under my protection has been screwed up. How much time has passed? How much of a burden have my believers had to suffer? Hmm. So, Pariah quietly thinks of the past. As a god, the people who continue to deliver faith to him, he is grateful to. <laughs> Father, I'm sorry. Fia, why are you crying? Because it's her fault. He fought against that human tribe. And just like this, all this long time, he's been shut up in the weapon. And it's because she didn't get his permission. She went and did something on her own. A mistake. And she's sorry for causing trouble. So, Pariah slowly pets Fia's head as she cries and apologizes. It's fine. We've been able to meet again. Everything else will be worked out. Furthermore, to make connections with other people, that is your base nature and the source of your power. There is no meaning to deny yourself like that. It's a parent's responsibility to correct their daughter's misi daughter's um, independent actions, but to forgive her their her mistakes is also a parent's duty. You are already sorry for your actions, so there's no need for me to censor you further. Censor. As long as you don't repeat the same mistake, that is fine. <laughs> 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 
Father, thank you. I love you. So, the reunion of father and child, it's a moving spectacle. And all of us allies just watch quietly. Oh, how moving. Fierce looks so happy. It's great that they were able to meet again. Right, so, truly, being able to, it's great that we were able to save him. So this is the true pariah. Just being in his presence, oh, makes you feel inferior, doesn't it? Yeah, it's an incredible pressure here. The quietness and peace that irradiates just wraps around you. But not for a moment does it feel bad. Mysteriously. It's like floating in a bath. So everybody seems to enjoy it. But there are others. <laughs> <laughs> Rishu and Seri is glad to be able to have an audience with Pariah like this. It is such an honor. And although she should be holding back a little bit, she can't help but blush. So, this is outside of expectations. More than Mikshuana thought, he is quite indulgent of Fia. Although he's supposed to be this great god and everything. No, oh, he's taking the time to just hold her there. But Mikshuana thinks he can, she can learn from him. These people, are they your believers? So, they all saved her. And they all helped in getting her to him. So, hearing Fia's explanation of that, Pariah looks to us and speaks. I thank you for taking good care of her. We are grateful for your words, but it's only natural. Rishu and Seri Rao Rosso, from the time when she was born, has offered her faith up to Pariah. Oh, Rishu took the good point. Well, she kind of wants to look good here. As a ruler, she's trying to... Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe we can say it's just earned brownie points. She's pretty ambitious. But, strictly speaking, 
You weren't worshipping Pariah. Well, don't sweat the little things. Fuchsia is Pariah, after all. If you understand that, everything Risha and Sally made sense. Said <laughs> so that's a wonderful faith you've got there. Certainly its pureness of thought will well reach to the god there. Well, there's really no need to convey it. As he is right there. Heh. <laughs> Mikshwana certainly is a serious one. So all the allies are enjoying their commentary on the scene. And Pariah's glance sets upon Avaro. You there. Your half elf, right? Uh yes. That is true. Unconsciously, he speaks very formally. Ha! Huh? Well, in one sense, he's used to dealing with a god. That is to say, Fia. But, Pariah's on a whole different level. Gets a guy nervous, you know. From you, I feel my daughter's power. Why is that? Oh, uh, that is... This is that, isn't it? He's greeting her da He is greeting his daughter's boyfriend. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Let's see how this shakes out. Don't just act all interested here, bastards. So, Avaro is my apostle and my lover. Well, he is your apostle, hmm? But I will not recognize it. Eh? Oh, Perhaps it's best to say. I will not give my daughter to you. Uh, even if you ask me. I'm joking. I have no opposition to this. So among the many people that she has made, she has picked, made her pick. Pariah doesn't feel like butting in with his words. To choose your apostles is amongst a god's rights. Yay, we've been recognized. Now we're proper husband and wife. Uh, is that how it works? Well, we really did have our relationship recognized, though. Well, either way, the gods have to return to their place. 
認めようが認めまいが同じことだ Whether I recognize it or I don't recognize it, it is the same. So, Father, what are you saying? So, as if to answer her question, Pariah's body starts changing. So, His body is fading away. Fear. A powerful god cannot remain in the world. You understand this? Yes. What do you mean? If gods can't stay in the world, what's going to happen? And, and we saved you and everything. Why are you going to disappear now? Well, gods that have a lot of power, it's really no good for them to stay in this world. The god being there imposes a burden upon it. The world can't withstand it. For that reason, before there are any bad effects, he needs to return to the world of the gods and watch over the world through their, through his uh, believers. Wait. According to that logic, then Fia will also someday. Don't tell me. Fia is going to have to return to the world of the gods as well. So that is... She's not answering that too directly. And she shuts her mouth. I cannot stay in this world. Fia? I'll be returning before you. Alright. So. Faraya, after being rescued from the, that human weapon, has returned to his full splendor. But before it has any bad effect upon the world, he has to disappear immediately. <coughs> Fia, can you solve the problems of the present age? Problems. With a glance, it at first glance it bothered well, since first glance at you it bothered me. Inside of Fia, there is still that human tribe's magic power. And your true power has been sealed away. That is the cause, is it not? Yeah. I guess so. And so, since she's sealed inside of Gualakuna Castle, sort of, she can remain in this world. But that being the case, Monasteria and other countries no, and other gods won't recognize her existence. 
so we've got to avoid that. After all, that's why we came this far. Is there a way to save you from the taboo as well? Uh huh. Just like with you, Avara and everybody will save her too. So, ka. Naraba mundai wa nai. Is that so? In that case, there is no problem. Kinki to shite sekai ni nui tome rare ru nara ka. Kocha ni kuru ka no handa wa wakaseru. So, when to pull the taboo out? And when to come to the heavens, he will leave that judgment to her. Is that really all right? If you're going to stay, then guide the believers in this land. Since they've been so long without a god, they must be confused. If it's all right, then in my place, calm the hearts of my believers. Paraya smiles gently at her and leaves this decision to fear. But of course, if you want to return with me now, I won't stop you. The way you live your life you get to choose yourself. So, live as you like. You're not so young as, as to need a parent to make your decisions. You may choose whom to be beside and how to be happy. <laughs> All right. Father, thank you. So, he is going to stay here with everyone. Going on this journey with them and making these deep ties. She loves all of them. And more than anything, her apostle and her lover of Aro. She wants to live along with him. Is that so? In that case, walk that path just like you do. So after saying that, bit by bit, Pariah's body floats away in points of light. So, now we part. We will meet again. To we the gods, there is no limit on our lives. Let us exchange words again. You kind-hearted daughter of mine who holds 
connections so dear to your heart. Alright, let's talk again. Next time, she'll say so much more, tell him so many more stories about how she lived and whom she met. See you later. So, Pariah smiles as he leaves, watching over Fia. So, I guess he's left this world now. Huh. After all this, we finally got to talk to him, and now he's gone already. Gods that are powerful like him, have a big effect on the world. But it's not like he's dead. It's not like we'll never be able to meet again. We're just going to be living apart for a little bit. So next time we meet, for, for the next time we meet, let's all make a bunch of memories. So, Nephia smiles without regret, and it seems we get to enjoy some days together yet. At that point, there's a shadow that runs and slams into Fia's hip. A shadow. Hmm? What's wrong, Eel? No, oh, Goddess. I thought you'd be leaving us. Yeah, she kind of thought that might happen too. She was sweating a bit. No, oh, it made her cry. She doesn't want to say goodbye to any more family. It's alright. We're going to be living together for a good long time. So... He all hugs Fia. And Fia pets her head. But really, thank goodness. Right when we were thinking everything would turn out fine, to think that we'd have such a farewell all of a sudden, that would be too lonely. <laughs> She's not going to let anybody be bored from now on. So let's all do our company work together. Alright, she too is going to be helping out a lot with the company. I keep forgetting we actually hired her to help out our company. Hell, for a good long time, we never even mentioned the company. So, if he is going to remain in this world, and, together with the castle, going to keep on working. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, Risha and Sally knew that that conclusion was what they would come to. Oh, 
After all, Rishu and Fia are going to be raising up Raul Rosso from now on. With Avaro, of course. Boy, you make some interesting logical decisions. Although, let me just say, if you ask me to become the ruler of Raul Rosso, I'm gonna say no. Alright then. Sure, let's see Raul Rosso again. We'd be glad to see the smiling faces of the people living there. Well then, Kisnir, along the way, we'll accompany you as as a knight. And she'll clear away any dangers with her sword. And protect all the people who she as the goddess will be ruling. Well, Kisnir truly has dedicated her life to protecting people. It's very reassuring. So, in order to protect all these connections we've made, please lend your power. So, does this mean that Fia is going to be acting in place of Fiusia? I don't know. I'm in place of my father, so maybe? Right, the Fiusia Pariah thing again. Well, if he is going to be doing the ruling, then there shouldn't be any problems. So, do your best. For my business as well. Well, leave that to fear. And eat gets to make lots of stuff and make people's lives better, too. Well, I'm glad that we haven't lost our goddess. It seems like it would be a... It seems like it would be a lot of trouble to console Avaro in his crying grief. Hey, don't go make me cry in your head there. It'll be alright. If I far were to cry, I'd come flying from the ends of the earth. Hey, <laughs> yeah. you really seem like you could do it. It's kind of scary. Look, Rosalina's smiling. An actual real smile. Ah, Katorido says that it feels like a dream that she's been able to save Pariah. And through this journey, she feels like she's become a person that her father can be proud of. Right, right. Certainly, Katarito's father is praising her, she thinks. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. With this, we have confirmed that Pariah has recovered. So, 
So, not that there's no need to eliminate him. With this, the investigation of the God's Haze has come to a close. All that remains is to save Fia. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, we wouldn't want to forget about that, Fia. Next, we need to save Fia from the Magic Stone Seals. Navarro, can we ask this of you? Yep. So then, let's make the preparations to release you. But is it really going to be alright? If you lose your connection with the castle, then... That means the power that went to the castle will return to her. She'll have all the power that she was meant to have. After seeing Pariah disappear like that, wouldn't she also have that effect on the world and not be able to stay? It's alright. Goddess, gods that are at her level don't have an immediate effect on the world. So if she doesn't build up too much power, it'll be fine. We just have to think of a method and it'll be alright. Is that so? Well, then that's good. Sorry for doubting you. <laughs> well, if it really been if it had really been bad, her father wouldn't have allowed it. So that's how we know it's all right. In any case, until Avaro is called to heaven. Fia plans on staying in this world. And so Avaro... She's going to stay with Avaro forever. Gods, after all, don't have a lifespan to worry about. Yeah, it makes me happy, but... That's a conversation that feels like it would run my spirit out. <laughs> yeah, thinking about when his lifespan ends. Yeah, he doesn't want to imagine it. Hmm. Come to think of it, now that Avaro's become a a god's apostle, perhaps his lifespan's been uh, extended? Maybe indefinitely. Oh, really? Well, as long as I stay with you, that'll be fine. I'm prepared for that. But if we're going to be staying here for so long, we better make lots of memories. <laughs> Maybe, by making so many connections, Fia will be sad to return to the world of gods at the end of it. For example, well, you know, the descendants of your friends and all your new friends. Well, of all saying it makes him feel a bit embarrassed. Mm, really? Yeah, she might feel like that. So everybody's going to have their children. And, of course, Fia has the plans for her own. 
なが年を取っても寿命が来てなくなっちゃっても結んだ縁はずーっと続いていくんだね。But even if people get a little older and even if their lifespans run out, the bonds we make will last forever. 新しく生まれてくる命を見守りながら縁結びの神様としてみんなのそばにいるのかもしれない。But watching over these lives as they're newly born, the goddess of connections is maybe by everyone's side. So holding hands with Fia and gripping tightly, she looks up at him alluringly. Hey, being like this reminds me of that time. That time. When we first met, when we first exchanged words, that time. All right, when Fia all of a sudden said, I don't remember, but I'm a goddess. That time, huh? It was true, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You're truly the goddess of connections. So, Avar was so glad that he met Fia. All the people we've met, and through the happy times and the sad times, it's been fun. Navarro, even if he had gotten his own workshop, if it hadn't been like this, it would have been completely different. If he has brought everything together for him. <laughs> She's glad that she met Navarro too. She's glad that it was he who awoke her. She's glad it was he who became her disciple and supported her. If it hadn't been here, she might not have been able to make it this far. She thinks she wouldn't have been able to save her father. So thank goodness, really, that she had that connection with him. <laughs> so in Avaro's field of vision, Fia's smile takes up all of it. Just looking at it, the words come flowing out. Fia, I love you. Love you too. <laughs> well, being guided by each other, the two of them kiss again. It's a kiss of vows, right? Right. I'm going to protect you by your side. That kind of vow. Hey, amazing. It's somehow like a offer of marriage. Well, we've both been able to meet each other's families now. So it's kind of decided, isn't it? Well then, I'm going to get to work on releasing you. Are you all ready? Yep, anytime. So we're going to cut the connection between Fia and Gualacuna Castle. With this castle that's been with us this whole journey. 
But you just believe and wait. I someday, even without the power of our God, I'm going to make it move. Of course, we believe in you. It's all right. The future is rose-colored. Because if she can be with Avaro, she can be happy. So, being together with everyone, she'll be even more happy. With everybody she loves, always together. She's gonna do her best so everybody can laugh together. So even if, even when it's happy times and even when it's sad times, as long as we're together, it'll be fun. So, back when they exchanged words when they first met, Avaro agreed to be Fia's disciple, or apostle. And these noisy days that have passed up to now, with the goddess of connections, with all these people that we've met, we did have a lot of fun. I guess that's the end. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.